like this one. Again, I love how it's tying together a couple of the colors in the last couple days. Got that warm tan and also the like orangey color from yesterday. So pretty. So this one is called Hazelnut. And yeah, this is day seven of Palmer Yarn Co.'s advent calendar. Good morning, everybody. I just showed you um, my advent yarn for today. And I am about to go brush my teeth and head off to work. I'm a little bit later today than I normally am. Oh, and that camera is way too close. <laughs> We had a fine morning, everything went fine. Um, I didn't get a chance yesterday though to edit and upload my day six vlogmas, so I decided to do that this morning um, just to get it up there and done. And yeah, so it's about 8.30. I'm gonna be leaving here in a second, so I won't get into work until like nine-ish, which is fine. I have, I actually have to use up a lot of, um, paid vacation, paid time off before the end of the year. So it's fine if I like, yeah, don't get in until a certain time. What's really nice about working for a small company and a company of like really laid back people is we don't have to have it. We don't have to get in at a certain time or leave at a certain time, or we can like kind of make our own schedules as long as we get the work done we need to get done. And like we're respectful of other people and their time, you know, if like somebody's waiting on something, cause it is such a process, like dyeing yarn, creating product, getting it out there. It's such a multi-step process that, you know, we do have to be conscious of like, oh, this person needs to get this done. And I have a step in that process that I need to get done. So as long as we get everything sorted that we need to, like we don't have certain times we have to come in. Obviously, we're, if we're gonna like miss a day or be like super late, then we have to let everyone know and all that. But yeah, for the most part, is relatively flexible, which is wonderful. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm gonna leave in a second. My Vlogmas Day 6 should be saved onto my desk desktop or like onto, I have a laptop, it's not a desktop, but they still call it that. Um, and then I'm gonna upload it from there onto YouTube. So yeah, oh, I just feel a little bit like scattered today, but I have a lot to get done at work and I really wanna be, because I'm getting in late, I'm really gonna have to be on it. We'll see how that goes. Is just getting Hudson's room ready for bed. Obviously, there's more to be picked up, but not not a crazy amount. Um, I can leave that for now. But I was kind of fixing his blankets and thought I'd show you the adorable quilt that my Oma made him for his second birthday. Um, it's a twin size quilt, and he is right now in a toddler bed. I don't know if you can see how um, close that is to the ground and the the bottom of the quilt is like folded over because there's just too much of it but it's so cute and she hand quilted you can't see it because of the light and everything but she hand quilted um around these like pictures of the tractors 
so that she said that hand quilting makes it fluffier and warmer and machine quilting kind of makes it more dense so she wanted it to be really nice and fluffy um and but then I think like up here she used her machine to quilt that but isn't that just sweet I love all the handmade things in our life <laughs> 